Good morning from, from the, the Thousand, Thousand Islands. Islands National Park here in Canada. <laughs> it's like three knots against us. We've got like the best spot. We got a ton of recommendations for Kingston. We are so happy to be in Canada. Hey. Hey. Hi, we're Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we left the United States and backpacked through 11 countries, all before deciding to come back home and try something completely new, pivoting into boat life. Our current adventure is America's Great Loop, a 6,000 mile journey through small towns, big cities, and the wilderness from the eastern portion of the United States, through the Great Lakes and Canada, and down the Midwest rivers all aboard our home on the water, Pivot. Make sure you subscribe as we share our journey through the highs, lows, and everything in between. place that we've been docked the past couple of nights that's here on Georgina Island partly because of this natural lazy river we are just minutes <laughs> and the best part is that it, it really? ends at pivot yeah yeah you kind of have to make sure you don't hit this island right here but because it'll bring you on that side where it gets shallow again but this is but it ends up at pivot so it's a pretty <laughs> nice spot we didn't film yesterday we just did a little bit of work and enjoyed the day Okay. And we did this like 17 times. And with Ollie too. Yes. <laughs> Fortunately today is our fourth day here. We just finished our third night and we have to go. Morning. Hi. There's a three day maximum at any of these uh, park dock islands. So we've hit that today. Time to move on. We have to move on anyway. You know, the loop means you have to keep moving. Ollie's upset she didn't get to go. Amazing, like one of the highlights of the loop so far. This place is just so special. Now we're gonna take Ollie out and get on the road. going through some areas that have some really really strong current our friends Nick and Kevin told us that there are some Canadian rapids but that we need to be very careful around them and I think we might be going through them like Elliot's being very focused which is why I'm saying this and he's focusing um, but he's at high rpms and 
just really focused on like staying in the channel and staying straight and being very attentive as to like how the boat is maneuvering and how the boat is reacting to the current because it is ripping through here. Yeah, it's like three knots against us. So, and there's rocks on either side. So, you know, a little bit of a pizzazz, excitement. <laughs> We were beginning to make a turn to follow our navigation for today and we noticed a ferry that was going across and with closer inspection of the ferry we noticed that there was a bright red line on either side of the ferry. We made a quick decision, stop, halt, and turn around, observe what the ferry is doing. Elliot read the charts really fast and, sa and they said that you should not go in front of the ferry, go aft of the ferry. So we ended up just waiting it out and letting it pass. But that was a first for us. We've never seen that before, which was kind of cool. Almost coming back to where we started this Thousand Islands and where the lake meets the river journey. Just off to our port side is Cape Vincent. It's a problem. It's on the other side of Wolf Island, which is all of the wind turbines. And we just have a couple more miles left. We are going to Kingston today. We have two nights booked in Kingston, so hopefully we can get a good experience of the, of the town. We got a ton of recommendations for Kingston on our Great Loop Recommendations page, so thank you to everybody who did that. We are coming right through Cedar Island, and this is another park in the 10,000 Islands National Park. It's right outside of Kingston, so for any loopers that are not wanting to go through the Thousand Islands, um, and they just want to go straight across to Kingston, go to Kingston and then come back to this. It's like, I mean, we're 15 minutes away. It's a little tight, a little narrow, but according to the charts, everything is good. So just follow the line. So just follow the line. Yeah, I mean, we really, really loved our time going through the Thousand Islands National Park and like just like a little bit more deep into the Thousand Islands. It was absolutely stunning and beautiful. Highly recommend it. Been good, eh? A little, little narrow, a little rocky. Pretty good, eh? Both of the docks are located on the northern side of the island, I believe, to give you a bit more protection from the wind that could be potentially coming from Lake Ontario and the more like open areas around this island. We're docking at Confederation Basin, which is smack downtown in Kingston. Uh, and they are helping a couple other boats right now, so we're kind of just taking our time as we approach. Uh, we're not really in a rush. Uh, there's two different entrances to the marina, like the south entrance and the north entrance, so there's no point in going further when we're just gonna have to turn around. But it is such a beautiful day for a cruise. We have like a week of rain coming and uh, we really wanted to get into the marina today because tomorrow's a little windy and rainy and the next day is a little windy. So not good days to arrive.
Not too exciting, just how I like it. Yeah. Our boat neighbors this morning, Dave and Lisa, gave us a Caesar Clamato, which they said is similar to a Bloody Mary in the United States, but this is the Canadian version of it, or the Canadian take on a Bloody Mary. So they gave us one of these Clamatos, and we're gonna try it, even though it is Sunday afternoon. Um, but we didn't want to drink it before we're about to boat, so we have it now to enjoy. So thank you, Dave and Lisa. Cheers. Oh. You know what it smells like. That boat just hit us and I heard a big thud and then the next thing I know I look up at our bow and a woman is pushing both of her hands. She's at their mid like midship pushing off of our bow or off, off of our anchor. Welcome to the boat. Times like these I'm very happy that we don't have the nicest boat in the marina. Honestly, you know, it was tough to get in here. Like there's a little bit of wind, it's super tight. Like, we are hanging out just a little bit, so not trying to rag on them or anything. Um, but, you know, I don't know. We're, we've never, I, don't, I think this is the biggest marina we have ever been to. It is huge. There are so many slips. We are on the F pier. <laughs> so that means we have A through F. And I think there's one more. Uh, there's G, which is the last one. So there are so many piers here, so many boats and you get the wind from the lake. Like there's a big jetty here, but you get the wind. Um, so, you know. And sailboats in general are hard hard to dock. Uh, so it's okay, it's all okay. We are going out to dinner because we can. What we've been told is that this is the last large city that we'll be visiting in our route in Canada. So we are going to take advantage of what this city has to offer and we are very excited to be here. First is a bite to eat. <laughs> What's up, pup? We got some arancini, which is essentially like fried cheese balls to start. Oh my gosh. That was cheesy. Mm. Dinner was so good. There was a lot of like music playing, so we couldn't talk there because otherwise it would all be copyrighted. After the appetizer, Jennifer got like a mushroom pizza, which was very good, and it had like a pesto sauce instead of a red sauce. Delicious. And I got a fried tofu bao bun with like a homemade ranch. It was so good. I don't know if this is evident yet, but we are so happy to be in Canada. Hey. Hey. We are at Martello Alley, which they're only open I think until like five. So we're gonna try and come back tomorrow. Another looper told us to come here, so that's why we decided to put it on our list of stops for the day. But it seems to be more like crafts and like local artisans kind of bring their stuff here. So we thought we'd check it out. But that'll be in tomorrow's video. We came to Confederation Park just to enjoy the ambiance of the sunset, even though the sun is setting that way. But it's so nice and chill. There's a lot of people out, a lot of lights. It's really beautiful. Now we're gonna head back into downtown and go to Musica for some live music, and uh, they have a cocktail bar. So, a bit of a date night. Yeah. 
Well, thank you guys so much for coming with us as we came to our first big city here in Canada, Kingston, and yeah. had a fantastic morning at the Thousand Islands National Park. Yeah, today is day four in Canada, and we are loving it. <laughs> <laughs> the drinks were good, the music was exceptional. They were having a Sunday jam session, so basically a lot of the local artists that don't normally play together were just jamming out and, you know, making it. It was pretty cool. Yeah, they, they do it every night here. Yeah, they were just jamming out and you could tell that they were really just being very creative and that they were very musically inclined, which was very impressive. Sure. So anyway, stay tuned for tomorrow as we stay here in Kingston and do a food tour and explore Kingston further. How cold is the water right now? I bet it's 63 degrees. It is very cold. It's gotta be 70. Yeah, some... Our boat neighbor said that it was 70. In any case, it's cold. Yeah, in any case, it's cold. One, two. Don't, like, splash on me. Oh, when I jump? <laughs> no, don't do that. Okay, you jump by yourself and I'll float next I'll to you. Water. Water. And, we, and, we not and we noticed, uh... So I was laying down. That's just what I can't do. I think I just can't lay down. Because that's when people banging their horns because they think we're, we need the Coast Guard. That's when we get run into. 